What's going on, beautiful people? My name's Brian Turner. This is my girlfriend, Sammy Grimm. We wanted some new adventures in our life, so we decided to live in our Toyota Sienna and travel the country. I hope you'll join us on all our wacky adventures. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We appreciate it. In the last episode, we made some serious modifications to the van. We visited our hometown. Now, we continue our adventures with stealth camping in LA, epic, iconic fun with our friends in Venice, and a whole lot more. Let's see what adventures we get into next. Rounding up our chapter in San Diego, I spent some time with my childhood best friends kicking their butts at pool. Oh yeah, until this guy leaned against the emergency door. What's going on? This guy's got it. He's got it. <laughs> Somebody tried to escape. <laughs> Woo. Definitely my favorite part is that he pretended that it didn't happen. It definitely did happen. Then I had a little work project I had to finish up, filming some interviews with my friend Dr. Tigari for my Team Acne skincare channel. Then I took Sam out to her favorite place for brunch as our final San Diego meal. Mm. It's small, but it's good. That's what she said. We went across the street and Sammy got some books, and then it was off to one of my best friends, Eric and Christie's house, because we needed a physical location to ship something very important. Yeah, 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 my boy, my boy! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> my man! My glizzy got Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> glizzy got pulling up. What's, What's up, up, sexy? What's up, good to How see you, How you buddy. doing, man? Look good. at this guy. Just, just, just oh, poke man. a little Oh, I'm gonna molest you later. Oh, I'd love to be molested. <laughs> you guys can take that one. <laughs> so it begins. So after settling in and bringing in all our valuables and meeting Apollo, their very adorable husky. Hi, this is Apollo, everybody. Say hello, Apollo. Yeah, that was pretty good. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Don't burn yourself, dude. So right now we are making a fried rice. Fried rice. Fried rice. Oh yes. With some corn and edamame mm. and some carrots. Yeah. And some eat nowadays nuggets. Back there. Back there. Nice. Yes, very nice. Very cool. Yeah. We were able to have a delicious home cooked meal and get some shut eye. <laughs> what, you want some salad or something? <laughs> Jeez. A little nosy, huh? Yeah, ask and ye shall receive. Hungry girl. Hungry dog. Girl I'm, dieting. I am full now. I eat my veggies. <laughs> <laughs> so after going outside and taking some thumbnail photos and messing with Apollo a little bit more, it was time to post Van Life episode two, but I needed help choosing between two thumbnails. Come over here, man. I need your I need your YouTube advice, right? Oh yeah, show me that. Alright, so here's the two thumbnails. Dude, if my video bombs, it's your fault. Okay, so it's either this one, or it's just me. Or this one. So like my thoughts are this one is much less busy. This one takes advantage of Sammy's boobies. I yeah. The booby ones usually are. <laughs> It's I, definitely the second one. I would, it's just, it's hard because like you want to take advantage of the boobies, but the shadow is like, like right there. You yeah, know? the shadow is right above the but boobies. Still, boobies. So after some very obviously hard work, we got a knock at the door and it was our special package we've been waiting for, which is the Starlink. We ordered this, thought it was going to come quickly, then it was like, we are going to ship your stuff in two weeks. So we're Freaking out, because we aren't gonna be here at Eric's house in two weeks. But it came in like two days, so we got the Starlight. Now we've been eagerly waiting for this and holding off on telling you guys what it is, but this is the ability for us to connect to internet anywhere, even when we're in the middle of the mountains, in the middle of the desert. Basically, you can put this little satellite dish on the ground, connect it to power, and it'll search for satellites that are circulating around the earth. It'll connect to them as long as there is a clear sight line to the sky. I literally cannot wait to test this thing out, but that means we have finished our stay at Eric and Christie's. So we said our goodbyes, packed up our stuff, and got in our van, I mean our home. 
That was very fun. It was very fun. It's always good to see Eric and Chris. They're the best. I feel kind of sad leaving them, but I'm excited to go on, but I feel kind of sad Yeah, I could them. live with mom and dad forever. Yeah, I literally could live with them forever. Maybe I will. Yeah. Just leave you behind. No! In the van, and I'm going to live with them. No! <laughs> We're going to Chino Hills. Ready? Go! Ooh. I love teleporting! Woo! We're here! Driving sucks, but teleporting is pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the tour. <laughs> I feel like one of those people in like the, I don't know, promotion videos, like, come on! Like Amanda White? <laughs> yeah. This way. This way. This is Amanda. She's letting us use her electricity. Yes. And, and washer or dryer if you need to do oh, laundry. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. I got you. Yes. I know how important laundry is. Yes. <laughs> What's up, sexy? What's up? Bring it in. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh yeah, you are just super amped up, aren't you? Wow! <laughs> What's the Wi-Fi? It's over here. It's like dog food recipe, like the, and then he just writes it there. Here it is. So if you ever need to connect to Wi-Fi here at Amanda's, just uh, suck on these nuts and put them in the Ligma 69. <laughs> she like can't decide if she's like uh, timid or super excited. She's both. She's very timid. Yeah, she's, very she's conflicted. Excited. She's yin and yang. Uh, she's not a guard dog. She's very cute. This is not guard dog material. Amanda and Luke are some of my favorite people. That night they took us out to an absolute vegan feast. My favorite part I think was the orange chicken and the meat pie. Sammy really enjoyed the deep fried mushrooms. Then when we got home, Luke told us some of his trademark epic bedtime stories. Where's the, the famous prison in San Francisco? Alcatraz. Alcatraz. Yeah. yeah. My my core memory from that place was like that was my first time seeing like seagulls having sex. <laughs> we were just like doing what? this. Oh, and I was like, oh my god, they're doggy styling, but like seagull styling. Yeah. So hearts and bellies full of food, we tucked in for the night. The next day, I filmed a podcast episode with Amanda about her Ayurvedic practice for a future season I'm working on. I said one last goodbye to Kiara and sadly said goodbye to these two beautiful people. It was finally time to head off to Stealth Camp in LA. Oh, so good. Hey, Oli, you're so good. It tastes like mayo and garlic goodness. After some delicious lunch, it was time to search for our stealth camping spot for the night. Now, if you don't know anything about LA, there's some parts that can be pretty sketchy and dangerous, so we had to do some scouting for a while to find a spot. After looking through a few different neighborhoods, we found a place that seemed to be pretty safe near a school, so we parked and we cooked up some dinner for the night. Okay, so now we're gonna eat this and then we are probably gonna move the van maybe like one street down. I feel like we may have burnt this spot out. Stealth camping in yeah. the city of LA. Yeah. In front of a construction building would be good. Yeah. Right? Like no one's gonna be here. This would be fine. <laughs> you say Tegrity Farms. <laughs> you got Tegrity. <laughs> I feel like because we're not in someone's house, like in front of someone's house, it's not gonna be a problem. So here's home for the night, baby. But the neighborhood does look really nice. That's the other thing is, yeah, it looks safe. It doesn't make any sense though. Yeah. Maybe he thought like, oh, she's gonna procure her own. Really glad we got the light. This thing is very, very handy. Okay, first night of stealth camping in the city. Yep. I feel pretty pretty good about this. Yeah. I am keeping my pants on. 
just in case we get a knock, the dreaded knock. Dreaded knock. Uh, and that way <laughs> I'm not in my underwear running, or, or I guess just jumping in the front seat. I can just jump to the front seat my, with my pants and we can get out immediately, like drive out of here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. That went well. Super smooth night. Didn't have anybody knock on our door. Uh, construction started on that place. <laughs> so we moved a little bit away from it. Uh, but other than that. It was good. Bueno. Bueno. All right. Time to start the day. After getting ready and doing our little morning routine, we headed off to Cafe Gratitude for a little brunch. I got a fancy scramble with potatoes, and Sammy got a balsamic mushroom toast. It was, of course, very delicious. It was almost 10 a.m. though, which meant I had to hurry over to Muscle Beach in Venice because I had a workout to get in with my friends Chris Moore and Marshall Fent. How you doing? Good, how you doing, brother? Just finished out the workout, super sick. Got my boys, Marshall over Boo! here. Chris, uh, super pumped. Always love working out Muscle Beach. That was awesome. Of course, after we got our pump on, we had to make some IG reels for the gram. It's one of my favorite parts about being a social media creator. I get to collaborate with my friends. I get to share exposure with inspiring people like these two. And I just get to have a good time. After that, we got a post-workout smoothie bowl and we relaxed on top of Chris's apartment roof, just enjoying the beach view. It really fills my heart being with people I love, so I can't lie. We got into a whole lot of other fun with a bunch of our friends for a few more days, but I just put the camera down so I could enjoy my time being present with them. So that was it for LA and Venice. It was time to head to our next stop, the Sequoias. We stopped for a little gas and that tally is definitely going up. I might have to start OnlyFans. Then we filled up both of our four gallon water tanks, got some vegan blaze pizzas and into the beautiful forest. Or at least we thought, because it was on fire. Are you seeing this? Yeah, dude. Holy for Holly. Definitely thought we were going to die, which we almost did because we literally drove for hours. I mean, until the sun went down and we couldn't find our campground. I was starting to fall asleep. It was actually a little bit scary. So we took the chance. We pulled over, parked on the side of the road for the night. So anyways, we're on the side of the road. Uh, just parked probably illegally. Hopefully the state troopers don't knock on our door. Yeah, um, we'll let you know. Uh, but yeah, we're just eating ramen and going to bed because we're friggin' tired. We did not so sleep tired. last night. We literally did not sleep last night, like at all. <laughs> Tough life and a rough life. 
good sleep, early morning. We got out of there. We found our campground about 45 minutes behind us. All right, this is how it screwed us up, okay? So check this out. There's a sign and it says, General Grant Tree, left, right? So why would you turn left? That makes no sense if you're trying to get to Azalea Campground. But wait, when you turn left, there's the sign. <laughs> and it says, Azalea Campground. But when it's 10.30 at night, how in the world are you gonna see that, dude? <sighs> Absolutely insane. But at least we found it. Time for some breakfast before our adventures. For you. There's a trail called Buena Vista in the Sequoias that has the most beautiful view at the top, so I wanted to hike it with Sammy and share it with you. Afterwards, we connected the Starlink for the first time. It worked amazing, so I updated my coaching clients, and then a fellow RV life guy saw the Starlink and talked to us. I see, is that, is that a Starlink and you're setting it up? And you're like, hey, do you, wanna, do you want Wi-Fi? Like super, super nice, nice dude, seriously. And now they're connected, yeah. uploading and importing and downloading and doing whatever they need to. So we're making friends just because of Starlink. Yeah. And cool tonight I'll become vegan and make the greatest tofu the world has ever seen. So. It was really nice meeting such kind people on the road. They actually have a YouTube channel called From Where We Are if you want to check it out. They gave us a tour and we talked about the minimalism of van life and how it's so healing. It's, it's, it's everything too. we need, you know? Right? When you move to a small space, you realize that you don't need much more than, you know, two compartments. Isn't <laughs> yeah. that the blessing? It like simplifies That's the best life? Thing ever, yeah. But then you appreciate all the simple things more. Much, so much more. Like right. taking a shower after you've been showering not charging for like a week or two weeks it's like oh we exchanged numbers for the future and then it was back home for some delicious ramen and then we called it a night because we were pooped So cool. So we had heard about a hidden lake nearby that we had to find. So we set out because a day at the lake sounded wonderful. You cold? Yeah, it's cold. He's <laughs> got bumps all over you. Cold as hell. It's just kind of cold outside, so it's like hard to get used to. Yeah, if we lay down in the sun for like 10 minutes and get sun sunburned a little bit, I'll be craving it. Yeah. It actually, it's really good. Yeah. Do it. This is my girlfriend, Sandy <laughs> Brim. That's the part. And I gotta say, after not showering for like three days, this is the most welcome thing ever. It's a little cold, but it's awesome. Glorious, so good. Then I was back home to find out that one of my batteries died. I guess we plugged in one device that was too big and I guess it shorted it. Usually these things have like, you know, a fuse breaker thingy for that, but I think it just broke it because we tried charging it at the house, nothing. And now we're charging it off the solar, nothing. So this is just effectively a 300 pound paperweight. Oh well, things happen. Time for a workout. A 
little bit of editing this episode you're watching, and then a couple Spanish lessons because we promised we'd learn Spanish while on the road. How would you say you have decorated the house, but putting say? emphasis oh, yeah. on the word you? Usted ha decorado la casa. Yeah. I have is a. A. You have, yep, is a. A, a decorado la casa. Usted ha decorado la casa. It's Spanish. Usted ha decorado la casa. <laughs> and finally, some rest because it was our last night. So many adventures and we've just begun. I'm feeling invigorated, I'm feeling inspired, and I hope you're enjoying it. In the next episode, we spend time with my best friend Ian in Sacramento. We go to Lake Tahoe and we have some very close calls in San Francisco. As always, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you in the next episode.